Good afternoon, folks. In this video, we're going to be looking at some hidden sort by columns that are sneaking into filter context in certain situations inside of DAX. And what that's going to mean is you're going to have some visuals that should work. If you look at the DAX, the DAX is as simple as simple can be, yet for some reason it doesn't work. And this hidden sort by column sneaking into the filter context, that's why. Let's go take a look at the situation. So we're going to pop over here to page two. Uh, so this is a really simple data model. We have exactly one table that's got all of our different product lines. We only have three of them, right? It's got this product sort column because we want to see them in a certain order. We want to see Viva La Java first, then come at me brew, then uh, Waker Spark. And for each day, we've got the sales for that particular product, okay? And what we want is a summary table up here that says, all right, what are our different product lines? What are our different total sales? That's working just fine. And we want the total sales percent of all. And that's not working at all. And if we see, uh, as you might imagine, total sales percent of all is just the total sales divided by the total sales for all product lines. But our total sales for all product lines is the same as total sales. And the idea would be that this particular measure would always be showing this number regardless of what you know, row we're in right here because that's what the, uh, the formula does. So why isn't it doing it? Well, let's go look at the formula itself. Twirl, I'm going to pull this open right here. And, uh, you know, if you're hoping that this is really, really complicated, unfortunately, it's not. The problem is that some, you know, uh, extreme complexity in the DAX, this is all very simple. Our total sales is just sum of sales. All right, that's easy. Our total sales percent of all is divide total sales by total sales all product line. Okay, that's easy. Uh, so our culprit right here is total sales all product lines. Well, we just do a calculate total sales of daily sales product line. Well, that's product line right there. So, you know, uh, uh, DAX 101, if you have an all of a column, what it's going to do is it's, it's going to remove uh, that column from the filter context. So when we perform the total sales, it should be removing Viva La Java from the filter context. That's what this means. It's, that, that's literally all that that means right there. Nothing more, nothing less. So why, uh, why the heck isn't it working? Well, if you'll remember a second ago, I mentioned that for our particular report consumers, they wanted to see their products in a certain order. They always wanted to see Viva La Java first, Come At Me Brew second, and Waker Spark third. So watch what happens when I come over here. Let me go to my fields, right? I'm going to click on product line. And if I head up here to modeling, and if I go to sort by, as you would expect, I'm sorting my product line by my product line sort. Watch what happens when I remove it. Boom! It works! This measure is working exactly as it should. Now I turn it back on, modeling, head to sort by column, product line sort, and suddenly it's broken again. Notice that nowhere on this table does product line sort appear, right? And nowhere in this formula, or any of these formulas, does product line sort appear. Uh, what that means is, whenever you have a product sort on any given column, if you try and use all to clear that column from the filter context, It'll clear the actual column, but the sort by column sort of sneaks in and is also a part of the filter context. So if you could see the filter context for this cell right here, it would have both Viva La Java, which you would expect because, you know, product line Viva La Java right there, also hidden somewhere in like maybe there, you can't quite see it, um, is the uh, product line sort equals one. So we have to clear not only the product line, but also the sort to make this work. So let's do that. So we're going to get total sales, all product lines. So up here where we had all daily sales product line, we are now going to include daily sales product line sort. And just like that, it works exactly as we expect. Okay, um, so this is a, a fairly simple solution to a fairly simple but really annoying problem um, and if you've ever run into this before, you may have spent, you know, a long, long time trying to figure out what the heck was going on and just given up and assumed that, you know, your DAX was more complex than this and you'd written something that was messing everything up and you probably had. All you had to do was make sure that, uh, that you remember that whenever you use, uh, whenever you have a column in the filter context that has a sort by associated with it, if you want to clear that column, you have to clear both it and the sort by column it's using here uh, in your calculate in order to actually remove remove it fully from the filter context. Okay, well I do hope that was helpful and I will see you next video.